Hey everybody, so today I have here this really nice laptop, Dell XPS 9570, and looks like there's no display. So when you turn it on, you can see the backlight does come on there, but there's no display. You can hear that fan, sometimes it comes on for a little bit, and then it just goes off right away. So. I try hooking it up to external, does the same thing too. Sometimes it stays on a little bit longer than normal. So we're going to go see exactly what it is. Let's go see what's going on. Maybe there's a spill or maybe something else. Um, let's go take a look. All right. And with most XPSs, there's usually just a bunch of the Torx screws that go around. And there's usually one or two Phillips heads uh, underneath the flap there. So. The under here is usually Oops, that, oh, looks like you tried to open it. If you can kind of see here, there's some, um, these two screws are stripped. So this has been opened before. Oh, man, so let's hope it's good. At least the screws have come up, which is good too. So They're not stripped to the point where they're beyond, but just look like someone did struggle there. So this should just come up now. All right, so this comes up. Let's go check the board. See what it looks like. I do actually see something here. So let's just unplug the battery. Sometimes when, when it does turn on and it does have no display. And you actually do see here, one of the good things about this one, especially if you've seen a lot of our new of our new uh, devices, they usually have RAM that is soldered in. So I bet maybe it's just a RAM issue. Let's hope there's two slots there, so we actually have a much better chance of. Um, so let's try this one. Just try to remove it. Um, it is heating up. I can feel it. Maybe it's a bad RAM slot. Let's see. Well, usually most of the the new ones they actually come with soldered RAM, so it does make it more difficult to even go through this test. Once there's no display there, then there's more of a board issue than than anything else. So let's see if this does work. And this has been open before, so I'm just always a little bit worried about anything else. And the fans are spinning, the lights on, and we actually have a logo there. So it does look like that. It might be the RAM stick itself. Um, let's go see. I'm going to go replace the other one, put it in the other slot, and make sure that it still reads it as well. Because if it's a stick, or it could be as well, maybe like um, the slot. Maybe there's a little bit of debris in the slot, or maybe just there's something wrong with the slot itself. So let's see. Of course, then we get the Windows error. But I'm not worried about that right now. Let me just let's turn it off. And let's just put this slot over here just to make sure. Right, and let's see if it has to do with being the slot, or is it going to be more of a RAM stick issue? So let's see. Let's turn it on. Okay, the fans come on. Sometimes when you do remove RAM or you replace it with other slots, um, it can take a little more time to boot. So just always give it some time before you totally give up on it. And sometimes I know for some Dells too, they might turn off first and then they might turn back on. So let's see. This is taking quite a bit of time. Let me turn this off real quick. And now um, to really test the theory, I'm just gonna put in the stick here, and this should work totally fine if I put this in here. I'm taking that that's stick slot out and putting this one in here, and this should turn on. If that's true, then this, there's something wrong with the slot. So let's see. Okay, fans went off, now they're rebooting, so now it should come on pretty soon. Because it's it should be recognizing it, so.
Okay, and there we go. So it does look like there's something wrong with the slot there. And there, it could be maybe there's a little bit of dust in it, or he did open it, there may be more damage, maybe there could be something else. So let's try and inspect the slot. And there's a good slot that has a RAM, and here's the bad slot that doesn't seem to be working. So let's take a look a little bit further. We're going to be looking at all these pins. This eye test, the top part looks pretty good. And we do see that a little bit there. We're going to take a look at that a little bit later. But we're going to actually, what we're going to do is we're just going to touch all of these pins especially that middle one that you see there that it looks really dark gold. We're just going to touch it all with a solder just to make sure all the connections are good to go. Now we're just going to inspect the top part just to make sure all the pins are good here too. All of those do look pretty good, so we actually did notice something here. It looks like this part has been worked on. You can see the old little flux from here from before. Unfortunately, the damage for this one is a little bit too much for, the, for us to fix the slot. Fortunately for this, we can actually leave in one of the sticks. Um, these are 8 gig sticks anyway, so they are pretty solid. If you just want the machine working, we can leave an 8 gig stick. Um, if you want to, you can try putting in a 16 gig stick if you really want the 8 gigs RAM back. I would definitely double check the, the user manual for this one. Um, I do believe you should be able to do a 16 gig RAM stick in there. Now it is a DDR4 one, so try to buy exactly the same one that you got before, um, and it should work. It'd be totally fine. These are Dell XPSs, they're usually more high end. This board actually looks exactly like a Dell Precision 5540, and that's the one we just actually did for the liquid spill. It's like it almost it looks exactly the same. Um, it has the same heat sink, the same board laid out, and actually the same almost everything. Um, it just the only difference is it's not an XPS. Um, I do believe they actually changed it, I guess, to the Precision. Maybe that's more of a more business high end type of brand. XPS has always been that one as well. Maybe they did change it, I'm not completely sure actually but by looking at this so it's exactly the same um, even the top cover and everything where the button is and it looks almost exactly the same so yep now we can just put this one back together making sure that's plugged in and we want to make sure we close it up and put all the screws back on All right guys, and that's how you fix the no display on the Dell XPS 9570. Um, it's the best way really to do it if you just want a quick fix, if you don't want to spend a whole lot of money. And fortunately for this one, we actually do have available RAM to remove. And having removable RAM really helps in these type of instances. Maybe it's not a complete board replacement, but maybe it's, it's just one aspect of it. So. If you are able to actually have that, most newer laptops don't have that. Most of the RAM is actually soldered to the motherboard itself. And once you have that, then you have more difficult repairs and sometimes even board replacements. Uh, for this one, this is the easiest way to do it. If you want to get another stick of RAM, you can obviously do that. But if you just really want something working and it is more cost effective, that's the way to go. Um, unfortunately for this too, uh, if you really want to have both slots working and you really need those extra 
bandwidth slots. I mean, you can try to get more of a board replacement or try to figure out what that is, but they're very, very expensive, especially on these models. But anyways, guys, I hope you really enjoyed watching. I hope you found this video very informative. If you did, please leave a like down below. It really does help us a lot. Please comment on um, any other things that you see that you might want us to do. Or if you have any problems with um, certain devices that are giving you certain errors, just please let us know. We're going to try to make a video about that. So um, anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.